Are you saying that what you've been able to do to this system could kill somebody? Yeah, certainly. So we're going to show how someone could remotely take over a programmer and essentially use the taking over of the programmer to reprogram and put essentially a virus on one of these pacemakers. You could literally take this laptop and walk to a different room or walk somewhere else and, and run the same thing. I think if an attack were to happen in the real world, uh, the, the doctor that's using this program would never know that the programmer's compromised. Fix is what we call code signing, and it's, it's very straightforward. So, you know, Apple already does this for their phones. Uh, Windows and Microsoft already does this for all their software, right? So uh, this is kind of a standard practice for software updates, and for some reason, uh, this manufacturer just chooses not to do it. Some people might look at your work and your presentation in particular as, as making this known to the public. Right. Um, that's pretty dangerous, no? So it's been over 18 months since we reported this to the manufacturer. I think at some point enough is enough, right? And so we made it pretty clear that at some point in the future, we were gonna present this research somewhere. And I think that time's come.